governor is going to be announced, has some announcement today. Apparently they're talking about moving three counties back. We are not one of those three counties. So we're doing pretty good right now. Our numbers right now are 108 per 100,000 per two weeks. So that's well below the 200 mark. Uh, we're not approaching those uh, numbers, of the five per 100,000 per week at, uh, for hospitalization. So we're good on that uh, metric. So last week, the governor changed it. And we would have to fail both of those metrics to move backwards. So we're in good shape. Uh, the new variant, the British variant, B117, Commissioner Nedlund heard me talk about this morning, uh, is the new most prevalent variant in the US. And it's probably going to be the most prevalent variant here in Washington. And what we're seeing from that one is it's affecting more people in their 20s to 40s uh, with hospitalizations and being sick. Now, you also have to scrub that against, we've already vaccinated a large number of our uh, senior citizens. So you have to parse out what is already being taken care of through vaccine and what is the new variant doing. So we're, we're working with those numbers um, the CDC came out with some new guidelines on cleaning. We're going to get those put together and shoot them over to Frank and maybe uh, adjust our policies on cleaning here in the county based on those new CDC guidelines. But um, COVID remains very busy. We open up this week on Thursday to uh, everyone, you know, 18 and older. So we'll be pushing that pretty hard. <clears throat> we're starting to see the numbers of people registering for clinics dropping. And part of that is because we've had really good outreach and we've, we've reached a lot of folks out there. Uh, part of it is going to be folks that don't particularly want the vaccine. And then uh, we have some vaccine hesitancy. So we'll see how that plays out in the next couple of weeks. We're hoping to be essentially done with first doses this month, second doses next month, and maybe have the mass vaccine clinics wrapped up by the first part of June. I got an email this morning from Peninsula Health. They're, they're starting to move the Johnson & Johnson out as well, just to give you a heads up if you hadn't heard. And they're asking me for a, a possible uh, pop-up clinic. Right, right. So we're, we're looking at the shut-in folks as well. And Johnson Johnson is a great product for doing the folks that are shut in. We had a conversation this morning around um, the Lake Cushman area. You know, how do we get to some folks up there? Can we give them to the fire hall, get Johnson Johnson up to them? So it's a one and done thing. And Audrey and I have the list that we got from DOH beginning of last week that lists all the shut-ins. So we're gonna scrub that list against who's already been done and, and working with the hospital and how do we do outreach into those groups uh, some of the restrictions on our vaccines as far as how long they can be out of a freezer or they can be in a refrigerator and smaller um, numbers of doses per vial makes it easier for us to get out into those uh, more remote places because we're not trying to do 15 shots in a, a time period. We can do maybe six out of a vial. So we get six per vial and that makes it a lot more logistically feasible to get out into some of these smaller areas. Dave, can you tell us um, how people are, how the the pharmacies and, you know, like Walmart and QFC, how are they communicating and how are we making sure that people are not getting a double dose? Um, so how are, how is that being reported? To, to oh, so uh, it's, they're supposed to be putting their information into, uh, the pharmacies are putting it into WAIIS, WIS. And uh, I did talk to the pharmacist pharmacy down here at Safeway last week, they're doing 25 a day, seven days a week. Uh, Walmart's doing uh, roughly the same, maybe a little more. Uh, as far as getting double doses, it should show up when you register and you go to get your second dose, it should show up depending on the software they're using. Like we use um, software that allows us to see their previous dose. Uh, we're, we're hoping people don't go shopping around one dose here, one dose someplace else, because that really complicates things. And it, it makes it tough. Did you have Moderna last time or did you have Pfizer last time? So um, we're, we're working those through with the hospital and with the pharmacies trying to get a handle on that. What we're finding though, we're, people are signing up for the clinic and then canceling the day of. So we're going to have to adjust how we do that and not drop as much because we had as many as 80 last week that didn't show. So they've gone shopping for vaccine elsewhere. They've gotten their their um, dose and not come to the clinic. 
So we're, we're going to adjust how we do those so we don't have any wastage. QFC up north is doing about 25 to 30 per day as well. I don't know about the Safeway as much because uh, one of the people that we helped actually called Safeway and explained to them they can get their other people in through me. And so the next thing I know, I'm getting calls and texts from people from Safeway. I'm not sure how that happened. I wasn't ready for that, but uh, hopefully their, their numbers will be going up here shortly. Well, week by week, more providers are, are getting authorized. So we go into base camp every week to see who is actually authorized to do uh, vaccines. And then they have to go through that three-week ordering process. And for anybody that's watching, I am not authorized for anything. I'm just helping to fill spots. I can't do anything. Sorry, guys. 